She was a mother. 34 years old with talents undiscovered, she had two daughters, one son, a sister, and two brothers. Living in the same house, window with the frame out, side because the neighbors needed it to paint a picture of what she should be doing and how she should be living but she was doing the best that she could do with what she was giving you see she had a mother who at the age of 34 had four kids one was in and out of rehab and two would do her bids because they had a father who was never around so one day they went downtown and said forget the pics she was the only one left and at night she would see symbolic siblings speaking sweet soliloquies from out of her chest words were so powerful she didn't need a bulletproof vest so she would walk the street 17 years old flaunting her breast until one day at a game with the yankees versus the mets she went into the bathroom and got raped by her best friend friend nine months later she's a mother unable to cope she's doing dope staring at the stars wondering if lynching is over why was she born with a rope up to her neck and depth but she's just trying to float so when she got pregnant again nine months were like nine feet and her baby was born in the deep end but she can't even swim so how the hell is she gonna save him you see she's a mother with two kids going on four she's expecting twins but now a man doesn't want anymore so when she couldn't afford the rent she decided to rent dreams to the poor in the shape of crack vials at your local corner store somewhere in the corner of this earth she was five months pregnant when her first son got shot somewhere up on lander street the neighbor said that the sun was hot in the middle of the summer when the sun got knocked up by nine bullets that were made from the same letters number two pencil except this lead didn't have an eraser so the cops decided to use removable chalk when they lined out his stencil and when they got to his face they started painting pictures of what he should have been doing and how he should have been living but he was doing the best that he could do what he was given that was his mother and as she stood there she picked up an empty shell that at one time cocooned a bullet like a butterfly and held it up to her ear as if she could hear the ocean but see the only waves we get around here from politicians where they cause emotion asking if we voting but not for me not for her not for her not and for damn her. sure not, damn for him. not for him and five months after her first son passed so did she except it was for her first math class for her degree Two years into college and two more to go. She moved her family at the projects into a better neighborhood. She worked 60 hours a week with no option to buy. She walked past the users, abusers, drug dealers, and cops. Cause when it came to her kids, she didn't want to be like her pops. She made sure she was at every football, basketball, and baseball game that they got. In between wrestling was resting and chess team and PTA meetings. She was a mother, but not the type that anyone could understand. When asked what the future looks like, she was shit living is the plan because she was she comes from living is on demand. And if you can't afford to control the remote from a remote distance, then you'd be living in the sand, waiting for a man with blind hands. Blue eyes to pick you up and walk into your damn like damn, damn. She was a mother. She had two daughters, one son, a sister, and two brothers. Living in the same house. Window with the frame out. Sigh, because the neighbors needed it to paint a picture of what she should be doing and how she should be living. But she was doing the best that she could do with what she was given.